Okay, so today we are going to talk about workup of Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is the presence of excess cortisol in the body due to any cause. Whenever there is excess cortisol in body, it affects each and every organ. It affects bones and causes osteoporosis because it interferes with the osteoblastic function. It causes glucose intolerance because it is a stress hormone. It causes insulin resistance resulting in glucose intolerance. It causes hypertension because whenever cortisol is in excess, it stimulates aldosteronic receptors and causes salt and water retention resulting in hypertension. It causes skin atrophy and stria formation on skin because it interferes with the collagen synthesis resulting in slow wound healing. It also causes proximal muscle weakness and moon facies, deposition of fat in the central part of the body, in the face, in the trunk. Whenever there is excess fat deposition in the shoulders and between the shoulder blades, it causes buffalo hump. It also causes skin hyperpigmentation. Whenever the excess cortisol is due to excess ACTH secretion, that excess ACTH secretion stimulates melanocytes resulting in skin hyperpigmentation. Whenever you see these features in a patient and you suspect that this patient is having Cushing syndrome, the next thing you have to do is you have to confirm the presence of excess cortisol in blood. Whether there is excess cortisol in blood or not, to confirm that you go for a test called overnight dexamethasone suppression test. What you do in overnight dexamethasone suppression test is you give a low dose dexamethasone, 1 mg dexamethasone at 11 p.m. at night and you check cortisol levels next morning at 8 p.m. Basically, what you expect is that whenever you are giving cortisol from outside, that outside cortisol will suppress cortisol synthesis in the body and cortisol levels will go down. If cortisol levels next morning go down, it means that it is normal. It is normal to have suppression with exogenous cortisol and test is normal and it excludes Cushing syndrome. There is no Cushing. It is a sensitive test and it excludes Cushing syndrome if next morning cortisol levels are suppressed. If cortisol levels are not suppressed and they are abnormal, then it means that there is excess cortisol in blood that is not suppressed by that low dose dexamethasone that we gave the patient. But there is problem with this test. This overnight dexamethasone suppression test has some false positive. It is false positive in patients who are alcoholics, obese and depressed patients because these patients are already in a stressful condition in which cortisol levels are elevated and your low dose dexamethasone cannot suppress them. But these patients are normally having elevated cortisol as compared to normal individuals because they are in a stressful condition. To exclude this false positives, you can go for a better test, a better test which is 24 or urine cortisol. It is a gold standard test. What you do is you collect urine for 24 hours and you check cortisol levels. If cortisol levels are four times elevated, if they are four times elevated than normal, it means that the test is positive and there is excess cortisol due to Cushing syndrome because there is no other condition in which cortisol levels are elevated four times normal, not in alcoholics, not in obese, not in depressed. So four times elevation of cortisol shows that the test is positive and this patient is having Cushing syndrome. And if this, the cortisol is not elevated, it means it is normal and Cushing syndrome is excluded. Very sensitive test, gold standard test. You can go for another test, another test called midnight slivery cortisol levels. Basically, cortisol levels are at their lowest at midnight in saliva. If you check midnight slivery cortisol and cortisol levels are elevated in saliva, it means that there is excess cortisol and there is Cushing syndrome. So these are the three tests that tell you that is there excess cortisol in the body or not. If there is excess cortisol in the body, it means that there is Cushing syndrome and Cushing syndrome diagnosis is made. But the first thing we did was to confirm the presence of excess cortisol. Now we are going after the cause. 
now we will talk about the workup of cause of excess cortisol in body to see the cause of excess cortisol production you go for a high dose dexamethasone suppression test basically you give high dose steroids high dose dexamethasone to a patient and see whether cortisol levels go down or not if there is greater than 50% suppression and greater than 50% cortisol levels go down it means that this is pituitary adenoma secreting excess ACTH and that excess ACTH is stimulating adrenal gland to produce excess cortisol. Why was there a suppression in pituitary adenoma? To understand that there was suppression in pituitary adenoma, you have to understand that there is a negative feedback mechanism present in pituitary gland. Whenever there is excess cortisol in blood, that excess cortisol in blood will stimulate and tell the pituitary gland to stop secreting ACTH. There is enough ACEX cortisol in blood, so you do not need to secrete more ACTH. When you are giving that a steroid dexamethasone, high dose dexamethasone, that high dose dexamethasone will tell pituitary to stop secreting ACTH because there is enough cortisol in blood. There is enough steroids present in blood. You do not need to secrete more ACTH. So that negative feedback will be given by that high dose dexamethasone to pituitary and pituitary will stop producing ACTH when there is a reduction in ACTH levels there will be lower stimulation of adrenal glands resulting in low cortisol so there will be suppression of cortisol whenever you give high dose dexamethasone and to check that this is a pituitary adenoma you go for MRI of pituitary gland then sometime it happens that there is no suppression to high dose dexamethasone whenever there is no suppression to high dose dexamethasone it means there is ectopic ACTH secretion because ACTH that is produced from pituitary adenoma can be suppressed with high dose dexamethasone because there is a negative feedback mechanism present in pituitary telling pituitary that there is enough steroid enough cortisol in blood so you should stop producing ACTH but whenever there is ectopic production of ACTH whenever there is ectopic ACTH producing adenoma it cannot be suppressed with high dose dexamethasone so high dose dexamethasone suppression can tell us that whether this adenoma or ACTH producing adenoma is present in pituitary gland or it is an ectopic ACTH producing tumor because Pituitary adenoma can be suppressed with high dose dexamethasone, but ectopic ACTH producing tumor cannot be suppressed with high dose dexamethasone. So there is no suppression. This is ectopic ACTH or it can be an adrenal neoplasia that is directly producing uh, cortisol and that excess cortisol is not being suppressed by high dose dexamethasone. Now you have to differentiate whether this is adrenal neoplasia producing excess cortisol or this is ectopic ACTH producing tumor that is stimulating adrenal gland and producing excess cortisol. To differentiate between these two, you have to go for an ACTH level. When ACTH levels are low, it means that this is adrenal neoplasia because adrenal neoplasia is directly producing cortisol. That excess cortisol is suppressing pituitary to stop secreting the ACTH. So ACTH levels will be low in adrenal neoplasia. And to diagnose adrenal neoplasia, you go for a CT or MRI of adrenal glands. And if ACTH levels are high, and they were not suppressed by high dose dexamethasone. That, that means that this was coming from an ectopic source, ectopic ACTH source. And most of, commonly, most often this ectopic source is in the lungs. And to confirm that, you go for a CT chest to see the tumor in lungs. Now I'll briefly talk about the outcome of MRI pituitary. Sometimes it happens that you directly find out a six millimeter mass on MRI of pituitary and you call it, you say that this is a pituitary adenoma which is producing excess ACTH, that excess ACTH is stimulating adrenal glands to produce more cortisol. And that is called Cushing disease. Whenever cause lies within pituitary gland, it is called Cushing's disease. Whenever you do not know the source of excess cortisol, you call it Cushing syndrome. Cause within pituitary, Cushing disease. 
cause outside pituitary anywhere else that is Cushing syndrome. Or sometime it happens that you find no mass on MRI or the mass is less than six millimeter. If the mass is less than six millimeter, it is insignificant. Then you go for an inferior petrosal sinus sampling. Why do you go for inferior petrosal sinus sampling? Sometimes it happens that there is no adenoma present in the pituitary, but somewhere else in the brain, there is a mass that is producing excess ACTH. If there is a mass somewhere else except pituitary, it will be drained into inferior petrosal venous sinus. And if it is draining into inferior petrosal venous sinus, you will find excess ACTH in the blood sample of inferior petrosal sinus. And if ACTH levels are elevated in inferior petrosal sinus, then it means that there is an, a mass other than pituitary gland, there is a mass present in the brain that is secreting excess ACTH resulting in elevated ACTH level. So it means that it is lying within the brain, but it is not lying in pituitary. So it also counts as Cushing disease or if it is negative, if you do not find excess ACTH in inferior petrosal sinus, it means that there is nothing in the brain, nothing in the pituitary that is secreting uh, ACTH and it is an ectopic source that is producing ACTH. So when you do MRI of pituitary, you find a mass greater than six millimeter, you say that this is pituitary adenoma secreting ACTH. And if you find no mass or mass is insignificant, then you take the sample of blood from inferior petrosal sinus and you check ACTH level. If you find ACTH in that, it means that it was not an adenoma that was present in pituitary gland. It was somewhere else in the brain that was producing ACTH. It also counts as Cushing disease. And if it is negative, then it means that there is ectopic ACTH secretion resulting in Cushing syndrome. Coming towards treatment of Cushing syndrome, most often it is iatrogenic steroids causing Cushing syndrome. Patients are taking steroids for some other diseases, some other autoimmune diseases, and those steroids cause Cushing syndrome. So the treatment is you taper the dose, you decrease the dose, so the condition resolves. If patient is having pituitary adenoma, you have to surgically remove it, you do transphenidal ablation of that adenoma. Then if it is an adrenal adenoma, you have to go for surgery. In summary, whenever you suspect the patient has Cushing syndrome, the first thing you need to do is you have to confirm the presence of excess cortisol. After confirming the presence of excess cortisol, then you can go after the workup of cause of this excess cortisol. To find out that there is excess cortisol in the body or not, you go for an overnight dexamethasone suppression test. You give dexamethasone at night and if it is cortisol levels are suppressed, then it means that there is no Cushing. If cortisol levels are not suppressed, then it means that there is excess cortisol. You can also go for a gold standard test, 24-hour urine cortisol, or you can go for a midnight slivery cortisol levels. If there is excess cortisol and excess cortisol level is established, then it means that there is Cushing syndrome. You can go for a high-dose dexamethasone suppression test. In high-dose dexamethasone suppression test, you differentiate whether the ACTH source is from pituitary adenoma. If there is greater than 50% suppression of cortisol, it means that this was pituitary adenoma that is suppressed by the negative feedback. If it was not suppressed, it means that this is an ectopic ACTH producing tumor or adrenal neoplasia. To differentiate whether this is an ectopic ACTH producing adenoma or adrenal neoplasia, you go for an ACTH level test. If the ACTH levels are low, it means that it is an adrenal neoplasia because adrenal neoplasia is directly producing cortisol in blood. That excess cortisol will suppress pituitary and tell pituitary to stop secreting ACTH. If there is ectopic ACTH production, especially from lungs, then obviously ACTH will be high. To confirm adrenal neoplasia, CT MRI of adrenal. And if there is ectopic ACTH production, mostly in lungs, you go for CT chest. So this was Cushing syndrome. Thank you very much.